welcome back. You're tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express here on SABC3. Thank you for tuning in on this chilly Thursday morning. It's going to be a great one, though. We're going to heat things up. So we are taking a look at what's making news in the, the tech world this morning, and we're turning our attention to Facebook. And we all know that when you upload those photos, I mean, they've got this face recognition kind of app, you know, that's able to tag your friends easier. It recognizes who you are when you see the face on the photo. But now... They have a new algorithm that's going to be released in a couple of months' time that's able to actually, you know, recognize you without seeing your face, but by another, uh, a couple of other factors as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, this is really, really interesting. Even if you're turned away, it can recognize you using a whole, um, a lot of variants and contextual information such as your hairstyle, your clothing, um, your body shape even, so that face back has now become a reality. <laughs> now, according to researchers, and this is only going to be released in a couple of months' time, but it's still a reality, the system, which is dubbed Pose Invariant Person Recognition, or Piper, wow. um, it okay. is accurate up to 83% of the time. That is fairly scary. Now, obviously, you can imagine that is raising some privacy concerns um, with guys as well. Um, but uh, we would like to know because, I mean, some guys actually went to, went as far as suing Facebook for the face recognition already. So we're gonna, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to be happening. But we would love to know from you, what do you feel about, uh, or how do you feel about the whole Facebook uh, face recognition? And, you know, do you think we should stop or should uh, limit the amount of pictures we upload Facebook? We're going to see a few less know. selfies today.